Welcome to From the Pilot Seat. Join me as we explore real aviation stories, lessons learned, and incredible flying machines. If you love flying or want to learn, hit subscribe and come along for the ride. For deeper insights, check out my books, Lessons from the Sky and from the Pilot Seat. They could make all the difference on your next flight. At the Australian Air Show in 2009, one of the world's most advanced fighter jets was shown for the first time. It's the Lockheed Martin F-35, so new it's not yet in full production, and its development has, until now, been top secret. The F-35 is known as a fifth-generation fighter, those aircraft designed to integrate a wide range of ultra-modern technologies into a single platform. Flight Path TV gained an exclusive glimpse inside the Lockheed F-35 training simulator, with senior specialist Ken Cooper demonstrating the unique features of this advanced fighter. F-35 is a special aircraft because one, it has very low observable characteristics, makes it hard to see, and you get fighter-like performance with long range capability, with a lot of fuel, you can carry your weapons internal, so not only can you keep your signature low, but you can get in and out and do your mission. Undetected. There are three variants of the aircraft. The A model is the conventional takeoff and landing, more like an F-16. The B model is a Stovall variant. Stovall is short takeoff, vertical landing, more like the Harrier. And the C model is a carrier variant, more like an F-18. Okay, here we are sitting in the cockpit of the F-35B model, Stovall variant, on the deck of this LHA. And for this aircraft to take off with this full load, 14,000 pounds of fuel and internal weapons, I only need about 550 feet and about 60 knots. With full throttle, I can get there in about six seconds. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six seconds back on the stick, we're off the deck. Next thing I'll do is raise the landing gear handle and we're flying in the Stovall configuration. While flying in the Stovall configuration, the F-35 pilot can make a vertical landing, so no runway is needed at all. Another revolutionary feature of the aircraft is its high-tech helmet. In a typical fighter aircraft today, there is a HUD, a heads-up display, where information such as the airspeed and altitude, some pitch and roll attitude information is displayed. In this particular aircraft, there is no heads-up display. Instead, we have a helmet-mounted display. The image is projected onto that via these two projectors from the inside. There's also sensor video. There are sensors on the outside, strategically positioned to allow 360-degree global vision around the aircraft. All he has to do is turn his head, and the image from that direction is projected into the visor. So no longer are the wings in the way. No longer is the floor of the cockpit in the way because you can essentially see through it via those sensors. The F-35 has been pre-sold to a large number of countries, including Australia, which will be replacing its Hornets and F-111 fighters with F-35s. Today, the Deputy Chief of the RAAF, Air Commodore Leo Davies, is here to get a preview of its capabilities. My pleasure, sir. thank you. It's a very nice airplane. The first thing that, that got me was uh, how uh, ergonomically better it was structured. I mean, there's, uh, it's, it's not a 1960s, 70s technology aeroplane, uh, of course, and, and that came through uh, first up. I found that I could pick up very quickly how I could go from an air-to-ground mode to an air-to-air -air mode, whilst not actually dropping the air-to-ground. I, I could do both things at the same time, and that was uh, very impressive. It is truly a first or second generation aeroplane to a fifth generation. There, there is just, just no comparison. Uh, whilst uh, I've got uh, really uh, an in enduring love for the uh, F-111 and it will be sad to see the, uh, the airframe go, the F-35 gives us uh, what we really need to get the job done uh, in the next uh, 20 and 30 years, definitely. Thank you for watching and we look forward to flying with you again soon. If you love flying or want to learn, hit subscribe and come along for the ride. For deeper insights, check out my books, Lessons from the Sky and from the pilot's seat. They could make all the difference on your next flight.